there is a myth in Niagara. By definition, a myth is a widely held but false belief or idea. This myth doesn't come from these swamps. It plans to destroy them. Let me paint a picture for you. Niagara region is part of a life zone known as Carolinian Canada. This life zone covers 0.25% of Canada's land area, and 25% of our nation's population resides here. Amidst this tiny region is Canada's treasure trove of biodiversity. There are more species found here than anywhere else in the country. A third of Canada's rare and endangered species call this place home. What exactly is biodiversity? Quite literally, it is the diversity of life. Biodiversity looks at the diversity of species, the diversity of genetic material, and the diversity of communities and ecosystems. Biodiversity is something to cherish. Nowhere else in the known universe does this concept called life even exist. As precious as it sounds, biodiversity is in trouble in the Niagara region. I won't point fingers, I won't say names, but what I will tell you is that there are powerful and misguided people who have little regard for biodiversity, especially concerning Niagara's incredible wetlands. Upsetting, off-putting, offsetting. Biodiversity offsetting. Know this term. Know that there are people who want to put this term into action. Biodiversity offsetting involves the destruction of wetlands under the promise of building and recreating wetlands elsewhere to offset the losses to biodiversity. That's right. These people think they can recreate this. What you're seeing, hearing, and hopefully feeling can only be created by two things, nature and time. Niagara region has already lost over 85% of this. Do the mole salamanders a foot under the ground get a fair warning that the backhoes are coming? Is someone scooping up every gray tree frog, ermine, or brown snake prior to development? Do pileated woodpeckers, raccoons, and specialized beetles get pulled out of their hollow trees and transported to a created replicate? You don't have to be a scientist to know the answer, but as of now, you do have to be a concerned and informed citizen. With over 85% of Niagara's original wetlands already lost, can Niagara really afford the practice of biodiversity offsetting? It can't, and that's because biodiversity offsetting is a myth.